So today we are going to learn a little bit about weaving and we're going to weave little snakes that live in the grass. All right. So past this video, you will see a document, a picture of a snake that someone in your family can uh, download and print out for you. And it looks like this. It looks like that. Now, if you don't have a printer, maybe somebody could hold the piece of paper up to the screen and help you trace it. Or if that is not going to work for you, then you can have somebody help you draw it. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. I think the easiest is if you print it out. Second easiest, if you trace it but also you can draw it. So if you're going to draw it, you're gonna fold your paper. We like to call this the hot dog fold. It's like a big hot dog roll. And then you are going to make this shape. All right, you see that shape? That is like a fat letter C and that'll be the snake head. All right, and then we're going to go like a little roller coaster down and up. Let me get my marker. You can do this in pencil or whoever's helping you. C, fat C, and then down and up. And it'll look like that. Make sure you go to the end of the paper so we have a nice long snake. All right, then we can start at his tail and bring it back there. So that will give you a snake. Where's this eyeball go to? Either way, whether you printed it out, whether you traced it, or whether you did this and draw it yourself, you're going to have this snake and your paper is going to be folded. So if it comes out of the printer like that, we're going to fold it so that when we cut it, We will get not one snake. Remember, you're cutting through two pieces of paper. Here. Okay. One snake, two snakes. Two snakes. Right. Now, the important thing about the snake is we got to give them a place to live. And where do snakes live? They like to sneak around in the grass. So we are going to make him a home in the grass. All right, for them, there are two of them. All right, first things first. Let's see that. Can you see that? Sure. Sure you can. All right, we're gonna take a piece of paper and we're gonna make this, the um, grass. What's above the grass? The sky. What's below the grass? The dirt. So our grass is going to go in the middle. All right, nice long grass. And you're going to make take your your um marker, and you're going to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight long pieces of grass. That is not a very Dark mark, that kind of set me off. Here, I'll do it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look where your grass is. It's in the middle. Only make eight. You can count to eight. All right. Above is the sky. Below is the dirt. Now we're going to take your crayon. Color the sky. Go down to the grass. Color the whole sky. Don't leave any white. Make sure it goes down to the grass. Can you see that? What's going to go underneath the grass? The dirt. That's where the worms live, not really the snakes. So we're going to put those in here. We don't have worms in this. We have snakes. There you go. Sky, dirt, and grass. Now you're going to take your 
green and you're going to draw your grass. Fill in that grass. You can go, you know, it's a good way to go could, to go like this. I'll put a lot of more. You only had eight there. But let's put some more grass in, in crayon. You can make it long. It could go up to the sky. But here's the thing. You can still see your eight blades of grass. And that's important. So even though you added some more grass, you can still see your lines. Now I want you to fold the paper hot dog roll. All right. Then I want you to find your lines that you made, your eight lines. Cut one. Don't cut into the sky. Cut two. Don't go past your grass. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we didn't go into the sky. We didn't go into the dirt. We only cut the grass. So now you can see that you have cut the grass and you still have the sky and you still have the dirt. Okay. Next. All right, weaving, it's all about opposites. We go on, under, over, under, over, under, over. And you can say this to yourself while you're doing it. So watch the snake. I'm gonna pick this up. He goes over and then he goes under. Over, under. Over. This one's over. This one's what? Under. And keep saying it. Over. Under. And then he ends up. He's over the last one. Didn't I say this was about opposites? Now your other snake can go the opposite way. Now, if he is over, our second snake, Mr. Snake, is going to go under and he's going to go over, under, over. Now you can tell because if this one's over, this one's under, if this one's under, this one's over. Opposite. It's all about the opposite. Over, under. You got to put, you're probably going to be better at this because your hands are smaller than mine. So you gotta have to go under, and people can help you. You know, you could do it in front of somebody, so you could both do it together. Over, and there you go. So they have woven through the grass. Okay, that's how you weave. Now. You're also going to find a bunch of pictures here on how you want to decorate your snakes before you weave them. All right. So you could probably, I would do that in marker because it's nice and bright and you can see the color. So if you need to watch this again, please do so. All right. To show how to make our grass. Have an older sister or brother, mom or dad there with you when you do this and start to do it. And of course, you can decorate your snake on your own. You don't need them for that. All right, you might want somebody there, uh, especially the kindergartners, if, when you try to weave it in and out. Okay, have fun.